Hey, Deja here. So, magical items and artifacts play an important role in Chinese mythology, but what role will they play in Black Myth Wukong? Let's talk about it. So, those of you who purchased or even looked at the Deluxe and Collector's Editions will notice three items that appear in both versions. Those items are the Thunderstone Ring, Wind Chime Necklace and Gold Sun Crow Pin. But what are they? Well, other than being items in the Deluxe and Collector Editions, we don't really know. We don't know if they will appear in the game, but I think they will and will have some importance. It's not much, but we have this one scene in the trailers where the main character approaches a waterfall while hearing some voices. Upon getting close enough, he pulls out an item which strikes the waterfall with lightning, destroying it and opening up a path. At first I thought this was the wind chime due to the sound we hear, but upon further inspection, I believe this could be the thunderstone ring. I believe we will use this as a means of opening up hidden paths similar to the waterfall shown in the gameplay. I believe this for two reasons. The first is because upon trying to zoom in and pause on the item, I noticed it didn't look like the chime. The second is, well, it's called Thunderstone Ring, so surely it would have something to do with thunder and lightning, right? Now that leaves the wind chime and gold sun crow pin. So what do they do? One thing we learnt recently is we will be time travelling between the future and past to combat the enemies in the game. So my theory is one of these items will be the way that we time travel. I think this will be the gold sun crow pin and will be a simple item we can quickly use to switch between the future and past in each area. Now the chime had me stumped, so what could it be used for? Well, I gave it some thought and well, I think I figured it out. In Chinese mythology, there is a deity, or rather deities, known as Tudigong, which roughly translates to Lord of the Land, or simplified to Earth God. We even see at least one in the game, and looking at the concept art, it is confirmed to be a Tudigong. My theory is once we obtain the chime, we'll be able to use it to summon a Tudigong to give us subtle hints similar to how Elden Ring NPCs will converse and give a rough idea of where to head next. But not just that, we know from recent information there will be merchants. Well, I believe the Tudigong will also fill the role of a merchant. This would be an easy option for a merchant NPC as there are multiple 2D guns and they are all over the place so it would be easy enough to locate and trade with. Well, that covers the three items but I think we will see many more. In fact, one of the trailers shows two items which I think we will also get with one being some sort of fire whip and the other some sort of mirror. I think when it comes to items, they will specifically be used to help us traverse areas, but some could have combat use. One item I can think of is the banana leaf fan, which is a magical fan that could put out the flames of Flame Mountain, which is an area we will go to in the game. With the game having New Game Plus, I also think these items will help with replayability. I think certain areas will be locked off in the first play of the game, but through New Game Plus, you will have the appropriate items to unlock those paths and hidden areas. This could also lead to certain bosses being locked off till New Game Plus. Or another theory, we know certain bosses don't have to be defeated through combat, so perhaps by having certain items, you can unlock alternative options on certain bosses to beat them without having to fight them. Kind of like how in the game Sifu, once you have beat the game, you can play through and get the true endings. Well, that's my theories, but let me know in the comments what you think these items will do, and if you think we will see other items in the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!